Some voters will have the chance to cast their ballots in New Hampshire extra early tomorrow in what's become a midnight tradition. Dixville Notch is one of three towns in the state that votes at midnight. This year, the town only has five voters. Town moderator Tom Tillotson has been part of the tradition for 37 years. He's normally pictured next to the iconic Dixville Notch ballot box. So this is the box with the iconic picture of the first voter dropping at the stroke of midnight, dropping their ballot into the into the picture into the into the box to basically it's the starting gun of the election process. I've actually never been the first voter, even though I've been doing this since '72. Um, I've always been the second voter, um, whatever that whatever claim to fame that is. And I'm, I'm the second voter in the United States. And CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Nicole Skanga joins me now. Hi, Nicole. So the midnight tradition for Dixville Notch almost didn't happen this election year. Can you tell us why not? Well, you heard town moderator Tom Tillotson say right then and there that Dixville Notch is the starting gun to the New Hampshire primary. And that starting gun almost didn't go off this time around. Uh, according to the Secretary of State's office, it is required to have five voters in an unincorporated place in order to host a polling site. There were concerns in 2016, which uh, led to an investigation by the attorney general's office that they did not have enough voters actually living within Dixville Notch to cast those ballots. We were up until up until this late last year, we had just four voters in Dixville Notch. Uh, a developer moved onto the property. Now we are at five voters. We are good to go. The Secretary of State and Attorney General have signed off. So what is the town's track record of actually predicting a nominee from either party? Well, on the Republican side, it's actually pretty impressive. Dixville has the distinction of correctly predicting the eventual Republican nominee in every election from 1968 to 2012. Wow. Now, on the Democratic side, as Tom Tillotson told me, it's about 50-50. They're about as successful as the groundhog on Groundhog's Day, he <laughs> joked with me. Uh, so not a surefire thing every uh, single year, um, but certainly a fun tradition nonetheless. They certainly seem to have their finger on the pulse, though, when it comes to the Republican Party. It'd be interesting, uh, interesting to see what's in the water there. So how did Dixville Notch become the poster child of midnight voting? When and why did this all begin? Well, it's actually quite a funny story. A lot of people, when they think of Dixville Notch, picture that postcard slice of Americana, a very uh, participatory democracy at work. But actually, Dixville Notch is located on a hotel resort up far north, about 20 miles south of the Canadian border. Uh, that hotel resort closed down in 2011. But back in its heyday, it had a lot of great uh, telephone service, wire service, which is why journalists flock there in the first place. Now, midnight voting started in Dixville Notch back in 1960. It got visits from all sorts of presidential candidates. Uh, then Governor Jimmy Carter visited during the 1976 primary. Um, of course, we know that uh, Senator John McCain spent a good deal of time meeting voters up in Dixville Notch. And Governor George Romney even, uh, you know, launched his presidential bid from Dixville Notch, bringing an elephant into the hotel resort with him. So certainly a storied history there. And how many candidates have actually visited Dixville Notch? Well, this cycle, only one. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett actually made the trek just yesterday. He said as a history nerd, he had to go up there. Uh, given that there are only five voters in Dixville Notch, it's <laughs> not exactly the strategic decision. Uh, we also did have surrogate for former Vice President Joe Biden, uh, Governor John Lynch, make a visit up there as well. It's hard to believe there are any towns in New Hampshire that all the candidates don't visit at this point. Um, but, Nicole, there are two other towns in New Hampshire that will be voting at midnight. Can you tell us about the state law that makes this possible? Yeah, absolutely. And so there is a state law that allows any unincorporated place or town of under 100 residents to vote at midnight under one condition. And that condition is before those votes are tallied and recorded, every single person in that 
community that goes to that polling site must cast a ballot. And so it actually involves a little bit of wrangling to get <laughs> everyone's vote in on time. It's obviously a little easier in Dixville Notch, but in Millsfield, which is just five miles up the road from it, there are just over 30 people. And of course, in Hart's location in Carroll County, which is just south of Dixville Notch, uh, there are approximately 45 voters. And that tradition of those two places voting at midnight began back in the 1930s and 1940s. A lot of railroad workers who had to get to work in time uh, cast their ballot at midnight in order uh, to complete their day's work, get that voting out of the way. And so the tradition went away for a little bit, came back in recent years, and we've got midnight voting in three places now in New Hampshire. All right, and I expect there's lots of hot, strong coffee in all the local diners there. Nicole Skanga, thank you so much for that. <laughs>